Okay, let's look at the hip joint. Again, it's running 2.79 meters per second. It is a position graph. We have degrees on the y-axis. Flexion are positive degrees. Hip extension are negative degrees. And then we have along the x-axis this 100% of cycle. And 0 to 40% is the stance phase. And 40 to 100% or 60% of the cycle is the swing phase. And the FC refers to foot contact. So it's from one foot contact to the other foot contact. All right, so we have, this is the motion. We start out in flexion at foot contact. We flex a little bit, go to extension, flexion during the swing phase, and then a little bit of extension. And where would we expect the velocity to be zero? We expect the velocity to be zero at the change in directions. So we're changing direction at one from flexion to extension, at two from extension to flexion, and at four from flexion to extension. All right, so that would be at about 10%, 40%, and 80%. And let's compare this. 10% we have a zero velocity, 40% we have a zero velocity, and somewhere around 80%. And then let's look at the velocity graph. Since we're here, we have peak negative velocities around 25%, so that would be peak extensor velocity. And we would have peak flexor velocity somewhere around 70. So let's look at that. So around 20%, that's mid motion of the flexion motion, or I'm sorry, the extension motion between one and two. And around 70%, we have that as mid motion of the flexion motion hip flexion occurring between 0.2 and 0.4. And remember, mid-motion is where the velocity will be peak. And then let's look at this graph where it lines it up. We see our peaks in flexion velocity and peaks in extension velocity. And then we can line up our zero points as well. All right.